like that sock, guys. I have an obsession with Norway at the moment. Well, actually, I've always been obsessed with Astrodeath, but still, like, Norway's, like, my big obsession. Maybe I should put this in a video. Okay. Hello, everyone. It's Christina here. Welcome back to my channel. Before I start this video, I want to point out two things. One, my hair looks awful. It's not my fault. I washed it this morning, but it was raining. I went to uni. I'm sorry. And two, I know I already wore this jumper, but I'm a student. Don't have that many things. My room is quite small, so sorry if I re-wear things in videos. Today's the day I finally film my January favorites which is basically a video where I rumble about all the things I have used a lot uh, during this month of January 2017. Oh my god, it's so weird to say that it's 2017 already! Ah! Or things, um, well, not only things that I loved, that I used a lot, just things that I loved, like books, TV shows, yeah. <laughs> First thing I've got here is the Neutrogena Norwegian Formula Hand Cream and it's the blue one. There's a red one as well but I don't know I've always used the blue one my whole entire life and I've always loved it. This is like it's been my favorite hand cream for years now. Maybe I should find a new one but it's so good. And it's Norwegian formula. Guys, no way. No way follows me. Right? Yeah. But it is important to be... How do you say it? To keep your whole entire body moisturized and hands are part of it. So, yeah, this... I've been using this a lot during January. Also because it's Scotland, it's freaking cold. And I'm gonna put some on now. Keep your hands moisturized and heat hydrated. Second thing I have here is this glycolic acid peel off mask and I know it's in Italian because I got it in Italy. I found it in my mom's drawer when I was home for Christmas and I just took it. And it's basically a face mask you, you put on and when it drives you like peel it off. <laughs> it's peel off. No. Yeah. And it has glycolic acid and fruit extracts. And this has literally like saved my skin because my skin looked really bad during Christmas break, like at the beginning of Christmas break. So then I found this, I started using it every other day and has made my skin so much better. I'm so thankful for it. For, for it? For it. I'm so thankful for it. <laughs> um, let me say what it says in the back. This is German. We're not gonna run. Red German. All right. The formula contains fruit extracts, and it uses the exfoliant effect of glycolic acid, acid, to perform an effective peeling action that gives the face a more radiant and evenly toned appearance. All right. Um. So this is a brand that I don't know if you have any shops that sell it in the UK or in the US or wherever you are but I know they ship online worldwide I think but it's like if you are British and you know what the body shop is it's kind of like the body shop but it's like I don't know if it's Italian or Spanish but yeah it's really good I've been using this brand for years years now like yeah now let's move on to makeup okay makeup wise I've been loving a few things which are also like my favorite like my absolute favorite things first thing I have here is the Maybelline New York Last Sensational Mascara and with oil blend multi-flying effect Oops. <laughs> and I've always used the, the other one which has like the whole package on, of this color but then I found this one but yeah I don't know I want to try it and it's actually really good but you know the brush it's like this and I'm not really a fan of this brush 
So what I do is that I put this on and then I go with the old Maybelline Last Sensational brush and I just go over it. Then I don't know, just I I just think it makes it better. I'm not sure. <laughs> it does, I think. I like it better. I think it like it spreads the mascara better on the lashes and I have it on right now I don't know if you maybe want to know the effect yeah that's what I have on and another thing I've been loving during this month and I've been using every day is this one which is the Rimmel Matte Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder now I never tried this powder but I've always used like uh, foundation and powders by Rimmel because I think they just get them right but I'm, I never used this and I saw it and I was like you know what I love the Match Perfection foundation and I've used the Match Perfection concealer and it's quite good anyways my hair <sighs> excuse me if I'm touching my hair that much but I just don't like it how it became with the rain yeah, so it's all silky loose face powder and yeah, that's that's all I have to say about it. But it's I'm really liking liking it. <laughs> I'm really liking it. I use it a lot to like how to say to bake. Let's use the word. Yeah, to bake. So to set my concealer. I'm gonna read what it says, but I need to read it this way because otherwise the powder is gonna like fall from it. Okay, it's lightweight, smooth and soft face powder. Matches skin texture for a flawless and natural looking finish. Wears up to 8 hours. It does wear up to 8 hours, so yeah, it's good. Now here I have two lipsticks. They're both kind of nude color because I've been going a lot for the like you know natural makeup I don't know if you can notice it I have no eyeshadow on and a nude tone lipstick now I've been loving two nude lipsticks and I've been using them like alternating them so that's why they're both in my favorites the first one I want to show you it's this one which is the Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in number 80 and it's the one I have on right now, but I'm gonna show you. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. That's, is that how they do it? That's how they do it. I know that's how they do it. Focus on me again. Okay, thanks. And then the other one is this one, which is my NYX Sleep Lingerie in the shade Ruffle Trim. And oh my god, if I love this thing. It's so good. It works. It's a liquid lipstick, but it doesn't dry your lips, so I love it so much. And I've used this in so many videos, but I'm gonna swatch it for you. And I love it. Like, I've been using these two lipsticks all month. This is it. It's like, it's less rosy, it's more... <laughs> It's more of a like, I don't know, I just love it. It's so good. It's amazing. Now that I am done with makeup, I'm going to move on to other things. And the first thing of the other pile, it's a book. And it's this book. And it's Holding, Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Neven. I bought this when I was going back home from like back home for Christmas and I bought it in the, at the airport and it's it's good it's good I love it loved it basically it's about this girl Libby who is the who was the fattest, fat, fattest teenager in America and she has been in a house for years now but she decided to go back to school and in school she met this guy whose name is Jack he's like the perfect guy like the one who has been having a girlfriend like on and off 
girlfriend for ages. She meets him, she gets to know him, and it's a great book. Yes! Talks about being accepted and accepting yourself, basically. Because Libby needs already does but she learns how to accept herself even more and the other people learn not to judge her because she's fat while Jack learns not to judge her because she's fat because it's what he's, he does at the beginning but then in the end he learns not to and he learns to, ac to accept himself as well now I'm gonna read what he says on the back because I like reading what things say on the back apparently so everyone thinks they know Libby Strutt but no one's ever looked past her weight to see who she really is. Since her mom's death, Libby's been hiding, but now she's ready for high school. I want to be the girl who can do anything. Everyone thinks they know Jack Masling too. Sexy, aloof and too cool for school. But Jack's swaggering confidence, he's hiding a secret he must keep at all costs. Be charming, be hilarious. Don't get too close to anyone. Then Jack meets Libby and their worlds change. Because sometimes when you meet someone, the whole universe just comes into focus. <laughs> Literally this book, it's amazing. I know Jennifer Neven is the one who wrote all the bright places as well, but actually I I don't read. I didn't read that book. I might. I don't know. Maybe should I? Just, just tell me if I should read it. If it's good, half as this one, I will read it. All right. Another thing I have in this pile is drum roll, please. Scum. Yes, it's scum. It's the repeat. No, it's the Norwegian TV show everyone's been loving, I've been loving. If you haven't seen the video where I rant about scam for like 10 minutes, I'll leave the link up here, but I absolutely love it. It's a teen TV show, but it's, it's so good. It's so good. All right, I'm going to say some things about it. Oh my God, do I need to stop. Um, basically, it's set in a high school. There's a few main characters and each season the protagonist changes so the protagonist of first season is Eva the protagonist of second season is Nora which is my favorite character on the planet like she is amazing and the protagonist of third, third, third season is Isaac basically the show deals about your everyday life and things teenagers have to go through so they deal about of course love like your first love or like they deal about eating disorders um there's a gay couple that's why the internet is going crazy for it mental disorders as well and so many other things and it's so packed with like everyday problems and everyday life and it's so well done it's I just love it, it's amazing. If you haven't watched it, you should watch it. And if you haven't seen the video where I rant, rant about it for 10 minutes, go watch it, maybe you understand more, maybe not. I'll try to film another video when I talk about scam, more like organized, googling, in a more organized way. Yes, Christina. All right, the last thing I've been loving during this month is not a thing, it's a colour and it's burgundy. Haven't you noticed that? I am absolutely in love with this colour. Like, I've been wearing, I already had a burgundy lipstick, but I've, I've not been wearing it that much. But if I do my makeup properly, I'll wear that one. Then I have this jumper, then I have a sweatshirt and I was wearing in the last video and it's burgundy. I just ordered a pair of shoes, burgundy. Okay, I wanted to order two and my mom was like, no, you're, you're not spending that much money on two pairs of shoes of the same color. And I'm like, I just love that color. I, I love that color. I just, I just love burgundy. It's, ah. All right, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to be, give it a big old thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for one video a week. 
and don't forget to comment down below if there's any videos you would like me to film just leave a comment down below and I'll do it as long as it's legal I'll do it I love you guys very much and I'll see you again next week